Hello and welcome to episode 27 our Sunrise Empire campaign. In the last episode we went to war with Buvar. As you can see they are almost dead. We're so close. We're, we're so close to finishing them off. We just have one more war to go and Buvari, boom, gone. Then we start up a new war against the command. Now you might be wondering, uh, Pomu, this is farther back than when you left off the episode. And you would be correct, except somehow, as soon as I stop recording, game crash. Game crash. I, the odds of that? No idea. But game crash before I could save. So we're back at the year tick. Honestly, we haven't, we haven't really missed anything. We went and we occupied this. That's what we did in an entire couple of months. Uh, so we're just going to continue doing that now. We've got troops moving back up north. Should not be too big of an issue. And we are going to start making moves towards occupying more. Uh, we're just moving from the bottom up. Peace steel is going to be for most of our claims here. Uh, we'll see exactly what we do. I don't think I want to take the capital this time, but I do want to surround it so he switches it. I want to cut him in half. I want to cut off... Any chance of him? Uh, I want to cut off him being able to like walk out and like reinforce anything here. Like being able to get back into the things down here. I can't remember what they're called. The gosh dang mountains. Those are the things I'm trying to say. We have claims on all this, so we just go for ugly borders here. I think that's going to. Actually, no, we can't do that as a Sunrise Empire. We want to take, like, full cultures. That way we can accept them. That's such a lot of work. All of that? An entire war for that much? Oh, boy. Oh, these wars are not going to get any easier, are they? Not going to get any easier. No, they are not. Okay, let's move up into here. Over here. They are in this war. They're going to be taking out these blue guys. Not too big of a deal. Just something that we have to keep in mind. We're going to go down to speed 4. That game's going to go by a little too fast for me if we go to speed 5. The 52 are up. Go to the next spot. Grab one troop. Send them down south to occupy that. You as well can also move back up here. You can split into two sacks, as can you. And we'll get ready to start occupying everything down here. Uh, you go up for that fort. Go occupy it. Yeah, there's one of his combat stacks moving down south. Uh, these two together should be able to deal with that pretty well. You know what? You move there. Something like that. Then we're going to force march you down south to meet up with them. That sounds good. Okay, now you two need to go after that fort. And you can begin the process of moving up here. Okay, good. We're going to catch a couple of their stacks. Now, they do have a six-shock general here. Um, it's a 4-4 general. So it's not like it's a bad general. It's just perhaps not as good as I was hoping against, well, these guys. That's fine. Also, I'm hoping that uh, Abdul Kanzad decides to take some land. Actually, no, I don't. I don't want them to do that because they're allied to Katarata, and that sounds like I would have to fight Katarata, and I definitely do not want to do that. Fighting Katarata is not good for us. Uh, here's another 51,000. You need to back up. You need to reinforce over to here. Did they siege us back? With what? How'd they siege us back? Why is there minus 35%? Wow, we have... Incredible amounts of ability. Just, yeah. Do it. Move there, move there. Here's 77,000 of them. Everyone move in here. Go, 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 go. Do not let them pass. You shall not pass. But like, in a non-copyright kind of way. No? Okay, you gotta really fight these troops. I'm letting them run around a little bit too much here. Let's go and grab everything in this area now. Looking good, looking good. Where are you moving to, Dirtima? That is... Right here? This farmlands. Man, we are fast. Man, we are fast. 
But are we good enough? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Look at that. Obliterated. Wrecked. Wrecked and rolled and wrecked again. All right, let's take most of these troops off here and send them to siege down. Continue to move out and forward. Now let's make sure we have the war gold. Can we? Just want to make sure. Because it would not be difficult to miss the war goal here. We can stop force marching and instead just regularly move up. You, 61,000. I'm going to go clean out all these troops. That is a good goal. We have another 68,000 troops here. Uh, come back together. Okay, can I catch them here? These hills? I hope so. We've grabbed you. Uh, let's just grab two infantry and quickly proper siege these down. That should not be a problem. Then we have 8k right here. That's looking like they're kind of alone. Obviously, that could be a bait. I guess it won't matter because we're not going to catch them. Yeah, we are going to catch them here. We're going to take heavy losses, but it's more about preventing them from just running around and doing whatever they want, other than me actually winning that battle. Is what I will. Okay. Yep. Time to go. These troops are dead. But it is time to hit the gas and get the heck out of Dodge, because you are going to get stack wiped if that army engages you. Um, you, know you stop moving and cut them off. Do not let them walk back. Great. Now is not a great time to lose prestige, but okay. So you grab that, you grab those places. Um, I would rather keep occupying command land, so we're going to pull these guys out of... Back there, we'll make a little detour here first. Maybe. Uh, we'll let them lock in, move you up, you also move up. You're gonna move up into here. Just don't want them to be able to escape. You're going to get there on the third, I'm going to get there on the seventh. So how about we don't? How about we simply do not? That would be the best option. All right, back to carpet sieging our way to victory. What we need to do, you need to go and take their capital. Start really getting that war exhaustion going now. Make them feel the pain. Feel the pain. You're gonna move there. You're gonna split up to here. I'm going to just continue this. This is all we're doing. Uh, stop force marching. You chase them down. Yep. Okay, you're going to come up into here. You are going to come straight back in here. I don't want them to be able to cross back in if I can help it. Ah, outplayed. Outplayed, simply all that that is. They're coming back to defend their capital. That's why they're so intent on moving straight back. Uh, you know what? Yeah. We're at 54% war score. Not... Too shabby. You know, uh, I really don't want to fight them here, but I don't want them to engage this 46 stack without me being able to do something about it. Uh, this hills? Yeah, it's hills, so... Moving around here. Oh, that's another 68k. Moving south, though. So the entire... Com Bro, come on! Man, I hate fighting the command. This sucks. <laughs> it's got so many troops, and they don't have any forts, so I can go and I can take this as much as I want. But they're just going to keep going in behind me. Like, there's no way for me to actually create any kind of uh, front line here. And push forward in a unified way. They're just gonna keep running behind me. Makes it particularly painful, but we're at 60%, but of course we're, we're looking for a 100% peace deal here. Hey, is this... Farmlands, it is. And you engage this 60k? Almost. Bet you with a little bit of help. There. Hopefully before the other guys get here. Watch that. Go. Yeah, that'll be a one battle. Beautiful. Now we're going to push onto this stack right here. Make sure that they can't just get away for free. Awesome. There we go. Now their stacks are all retreating. How many times are they going to unsiege this province? That's very annoying. It's literally just that province, too. I wonder why. They're like really prioritizing it. 
Uh, let's continue to move up. There. A rising star? Uh, I'd rather gain the prestige at the moment. Queen combine. Put you in half. You force march up to there. You begin the sieging process in the south. There we go. Piece by piece. We'll get this dub. We'll win. This might take a little bit of time. So, move forward here. That is good. That is wonderful. Uh, I know that we needed a tech for some mission. Which mission was that? Foreign ports. Grand Shipyard, Dry Dock, Stock Exchange, and the Town Hall. I think I'm waiting on Town Hall tech. Yeah. Advent Tech 22. Uh, it's actually the next tech. Okay. That's good. Won't be too long then. We need a new debate. Uh, go ahead and give me a ability. Or don't. Just do something. We're back here, unseeking things. Again. As one does. As one does. Alright, there we go. We have won a siege. The one down here in the south. Force march up, fight these armies. You three move together into here. Move to here with a general of some kind. Go. All of you are taken care of now. Stop force marching. Raj. You know what? Just assault it. There's goblins. We can take them out. Yep. There we go. We take Brooklyn Dromac. We're close. We're close to getting the peace deal. Here, here. This sucks, because I know that this doesn't really matter all that much, and that they're going to be super strong next time we fight them anyways. Uh, can I catch this stack? Yes, I can. Do it. Over there, snag that. I need an advisor. Which advisor? Admin? Definitely you want at least a level 2. Never mind, we want a level 3. We definitely want a level 3 afford it. Do need to move up to here. Go ahead and grab the holds. Those are worth a lot of war score. Yeah. Uh, we gotta go deal with that. Do they have the upgraded rails? They do. Yep. That's why they move there so fast. Yes, I should have been ready for that one. Ready, but I wasn't. Yeah, they moved their entire army back down and out. I don't think it's going to matter all that much. We're going to carpet siege a little bit more aggressively here. In order to try and get their war exhaustion or enthusiasm down enough to where they go, you know what? Not even worth it. Do not let them take this, please. Okay. And result that awesome stop force marching this stack might be dead you gotta help this stack otherwise it absolutely will be dead they're going down here and unseeging all of that that's fine At minus four obviously i'm just going to take more you need to take 100 percent piece we don't have a choice south all right here we go four to there five to there Five there, five there. We're just gonna siege all of these caves down and all of these roads down as quickly as I possibly can. That way, we can just get out of the war. We're done, Command. We are done in this war. You have lost. It's time to just accept that as reality. Same thing here. Just split up a bunch, go and take it all. Nice and easy. No problems. There's not going to be any command troops just waiting for us. No, no. They would never do that. Never do that. Question is, are these even worth any amount of war score at all? I doubt it. And while they're down here sieging down my land, despite the fact that... Ugh. Oh, you are in trouble. Forge that. Move here. Uh, force march away. They're definitely looking to fight you. Yep, watch that too. Just to make a move, take longer to move. We'll send these troops down south to engage them. We're at 89, so they will accept this. Is this... Is this the PCL I want? 
Probably should be. Let's check the mission tree. Check the mission tree, just to make sense. Sure. We need a Sun Elf Diplo Advisor. Okay, I can make that work. Another Sun Elf Diplo Advisor. Yeah, I can make that work. I need people to like me, I can make that work. That's a lot of dev. That might take a little bit longer. Uh, cathedral, town hall, state house, yeah, we next tech. I need more barracks. Okay, can work on that. All right, so is there, I'm looking probably for these. That's in the Rahim Coast region. Yeah. Defeat our demons. So if I go after and focus down on the Oni stuff. Uh, oh, we're, we're actually not going to accept Oni. Interesting. And the... this region. Okay. Let's do... Can I grab the entire Demon Hills region? I think that's it, right? Just double check. Eat our demons. Yeah, that's definitely it. No, we need this one up here. Those two. So I didn't. I don't think these two were there. No, they were not. Don't take these two. Instead, we'll focus on this one. So one, two, three. Oh dang! Really? I mean, that makes sense. It's a lot of development down here. It's a lot of development. Uh, we will start on it at least. So we'll grab those three, and then I will grab that as well. Just to get 100%. It's 140% over extension. Don't really care all that much. Let's go ahead and piece it out. Wonderful. Did I miss something? No, I just have to core it. Okay, good. Oof. For a second there, I was like, oh no. I missed something. That's not good. But nope, we are good. All right. Another war with the command. Dunzoed. We're making progress, I guess. I guess you could say we're making progress. It doesn't feel like progress, but it is technically progress. Uh, now we're going to have to fight these guys. Yeah, like immediately. Let's start sending stacks up that way. Let's actually, you know, start coring everything. We're 300 over our governing capacity. 300. We need a lot more courthouses. Get a lot more courthouses. Build them all. Then I need to go and recruit an advisor of some kind. Recruit an elven advisor. Yes. Uh, organizer leave effort. I want a diplomat. We're going to go to where are you? You're right here. Diplo rep. Alright. I gotta scroll back up. And the traveling convocationary. With the expansion of the convocation, we must ensure that the people under our rule feel that our representatives are working for their interests alone. To this end, we will send forth the traveling convocationaries, our most trusted elves, or elves, who can be seen by the people to watch over those who rule them, so that they might never suffer beneath corrupt officials ever again. We lose 200 admin power, but we get a tier 2 government reform, which gives stab cost modifier and yearly corruption. Nice. Now for this, I need diplo rep of at least 4. Yeah, if I'm not overextended, I have this, and I don't have annex subjects, so we just have to wait. Then we'll be good on that one. You move up north, you split in half, there's no reason to take that kind of attrition. I was going to say send some down south, but these guys can move south. Move here, you move here, and you can move to here. Alright, good. Very good. Uh, with the uh, Vivari, that's fine. Foreign plots, go ahead and seize that. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and build more fields for the mission. Yeah. Yeah. A little more training fields. Put a bunch of training fields and also give me a bunch of regimental camps just to make sure that we have everything covered. Like all our bases are covered. The odds are this will make it to where it works. And then we might have to do some development, but uh, hey, that is what it is. Uh, you, I'm going to declare for probably... Yushibi? Or do I go for the capital? No, we'll go for the capital. Jetsyang. That is fine. Where are you? 
Where are you? Is that what their capital's called? Yeah, that's it. It is. Oh, uh, well, I don't have a claim on it. So that would complicate things on using that as a war goal. <laughs> that would definitely do it. Uh, so we're going to go for Gushibi. Sure. Go ahead and uh, occupy that. Occupy that. Occupy that. Wonderful. Send you around to help. You rebels. Deal with the rebels. We're going to have a decent chunk of rebels popping up here. Uh, you walk up to one of these command cities and we're going to do that. Yes, moderate tolerance increase of Haramari is probably a good idea. We fight the past, it fights back. Yeah, they can... Never mind. I won't say that. That would be a mean thing to say. But they can forget about it. They can frickety frack off, you know? You know what I'm saying? Separatist sentiment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it begins. And so it begins. The rebels. Uh <sighs> Let's bring you up and get some of this stuff up here uh, sorted out. We're losing generals in some places. It's fine. Not a big deal. Um, I don't want any of these things. All these are bad. But they're not that far away. They're sung, so crush them. Sometimes you just got to teach the nobles what's good. All right. Mission fulfilled. Elven ambassadors. Uh, while in Hellas, even the mention of elves brings forth bitter memories of Jahir's conquest. Since reaching out into the world beyond, we've been reminded of the good name of elves in Bulwar and beyond. There, elven diplomats are treated with honor, not the fear and disdain they receive in Hellas. It is time we repair the reputation of our race, and the other nations of our continent will treat us with the respect we deserve. Uh-oh. I hope we don't go evil. <laughs> uh, Sunrise Empire gets plus one diplomats and plus one diplo rep until the end of the game. Nice. Now, the province owner of Ambincost... And a bunch of other people need to like us a whole bunch. But I can't actually see these people, so... I'm gonna have to wait on that, I guess? Kind of weird that I get that mission but can't see it, but... Well... Uh, we're still pouring things up, are we? Yeah, so we must have gotten rid of our annex subjects opinion penalty. That's why all of a sudden they're like, Oh, hey, you know what? You're not so bad. Like, yeah, that's what we've been trying to say. We're pretty cool down here. Pretty cool down here. Ignore that I'm losing a lot of manpower like this. I don't care. A proposal of the clergy? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead and hit this. Wonderful. All of that is now cored up. Well, all except for one. Don't know why this one took longer, but okay. Fine. There we go. And that completes the next mission. Defeat our demons. There's a shadow that lies to the north of civilized Hales, the terrible Oni, half demon, half man eating beast. Their black magics mar the con continents of the sun. For us to let them live would be an injustice to all free people of Hales. We must obliterate them utterly and take back the demon hills for the light of the dawn. Hey, I'm just saying, this isn't sounding so good. What happened to the whole accepting everybody thing? I guess we don't accept as much as Jad does, but I mean, we're going to quote unquote replace them. Ah, right. Replace them. That's what's going to happen. We're going to send the Oni to the happy farm, apparently. Also, in this war, I'm taking a lot. Yep, that looks good to me. Looks very good to me. It's sort of like all this forts as well. Migrants move into Demon Hills. Guarded by our finest generic legionnaires, migrants from the Yanxi have begun to move into the formerly only controlled Demon Hills. Their settlements began as fortified towns which, from which the legions could conduct skirmishes against the corrupted giant kin for reclaiming farmland and mines. But in Ez Ezri Jarul, it seems the darkness has been driven out and our own people can live without fear. The dawn rises. The ogres in this province have been killed, expelled, or otherwise dealt with. As a result, many settlers have started to move into the province. The local bikeling people form a majority of the settlers, but there is also a large amount of dwarves from Vokal Ozavar eager to extract the untapped riches of these hills, as well as brown orcs hoping to make the land their own. Uh, okay. So we're he-hooing, but we're not. But, but we're not he-hooing. Oh wow, this is going fast. We're he- we're <laughs> ultra he -hoo. Fast he -hoo. Wow, they are just- okay. Okay, cool. Why is it always this fast? Hey, uh, <laughs> we're doing a bad here. <laughs> I'm just 
just would like to point that out. I thought we were supposed to be the good guys, but there's no way these quote unquote migrants are moving in this fast. I don't think the Oni are wanting to share their land that much. Uh, I'm sure they're fine. What's the worst that could be happening to them, <laughs> right? So what's the worst? Uh, more like the Geneva suggestions, am I right? <laughs> That's fine. The evil Oni, right? We, we let it go. We let it go. Look, uh, Hidarion is dead. He won't know this happened. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. He can't be disappointed in us. Take this, take this. Take, can't take that. Find Convocationary Rebels. I don't even know where they spawned, but we got them. That's all that matters to me is that we got them. Uh, we're maxed out on Diplo points. I'm just going to take it. I don't want to... That's a mistake. I need to develop. I don't want to develop, but I need to. I need to develop everything to like 25, I think. So we need to start spending some points on that whenever we have extra points. Migrants move in. Okay. Wow, we have almost gotten rid of them. Almost gotten rid of them. Is this a hobgoblin? No, they converted things to god lost. Fringe. Fringe! Old Duke and Brown Orc. Okay, well, that's fine. We can keep the Orcs around. I don't mind. Orcs are fine. It's just everything else that's bad. Well, everything else that is not what I want. Which includes Tony. It's fine. I don't think about it too much. Uh, let's get these provinces occupied. I can take tech. Yeah, we'll not take that one too early though. We'll barrage this. Make this war go a little bit faster. Financial reforms? Uh, sure, go for it. That's the best part of the game. Carpet sieging the plane. Ah, yes, the steps must be carpet sieged. There's no other way. Also, this is super cursed. We're gonna have to deal with this at some point, most likely, if I had to guess. At some point, it's going to make us do this. Um, go ahead and hire a bunch of generals here. Over at 92. Got some good ones. Look at that. 656. Six. I like it. 4663. Six, six, then we're going to take the professionalism. Can I revoke land, by the way? I to be a piece, so uh no. That'll be a very solid no, considering the one game rule that has to be true for me to do that is not active. Uh you can move down south. You're not doing much. How much easier these wars are compared to the stupid wars against the command. Migrants moving to the hills. We're almost we're almost done with the Oni. There's one horned ogre province left. Ignore it. Ignore it. It's fine. Fine. Okay, they're gonna get away. Can I piece you out for everything I want? No, because we're a jerk. Uh, it's probably because they're blockades and stuff. I don't really want to build up a navy though at this point. Like, it's just not worth it. Like, who's going to attack us navally? No one. There's no one left to attack us other than the command and Katarata. Katarata could definitely do some damage. I don't think they'd win, but they could do some damage. Especially if they call in Avdol Kanzad. Then we run into problems. Fighting Avdol Kanzad is not something I'm too thrilled about. We may even want to ally them in order to prevent that from happening, in all honesty. You're still at a no? Why? You crazy. There we go. And we also gain one stability. And I can embrace the institution. And I need to peace out. Give me money. Coalition. Doesn't matter. Peace. Yay! We're stuck. Or all. We're, st <laughs> We're still over, by the way, for our admin point. Uh, well, I guess we take tech. We now have access to town halls. And I can... I have rebels. Oh, I, I do. I have some rebels down here. Go take care of them. All of you need to move back down. So go and you. Alright, there we go. Uh, all the Oni are gone, so we can repopulate the hills. While the Demon Hills are nominally under our control, fell Oni still lurk among its high peaks and shadowed valleys. Make sure our con continent is forever purged of their darkness. We must fill the hills with our own people and send the Oni to meet their giant masters. Gain 200 splendor. Pretty good. Uh, and now all provinces... Okay. 
Cool. <laughs> yeah, let me just grab all that real quick. No problem. No problem. Easy. Honestly, super easy. Sorry, just just yeah, I'm, I'm working on a game. I'm working on it. Uh, age ability, I guess we go for maximum or additional absolutism, but we can't have any. So I think what we're going to want to do is probably wait for the Buvari troops to be up and annex them because they are allied. Unless Buvari wouldn't join them if I attacked. No, they would because they, they hate me. Uh, we're going to want to wait because I would rather annex Buvari fully and then grab these two provinces from them in a separate peace deal. But oh my god, that's a lot of development. That's a lot of development, but we can grab that anyways, and then it's just the one war against the command to grab these, and that's another mission completed. Uh, and then we're just going to go piece by piece at the command, and at Sarkashabid, and get seeing, I guess. There's not that many people left in Hales and Rahim. Uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. There's seven independent tags here, which is, uh, you know, interesting. Very interesting. I may want to use vassals in this area. Didn't I take a core over here from some vassal or something like in here? Oh, I didn't take a core. I should have though. That would have been the smart thing to do. Oh well. But I can release you if I need to. But admin points aren't really a problem. It's just other things. Uh, we're going to have to take another idea group. I'll think about it between episodes which we want to go for. Uh, most likely it's going to be economic though. Because I need to develop a lot. And that'll give me the cheaper policy cost. But... That is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.